everyone, welcome back to the shop. We've got two wing halves done, two to go. All right, what I decided to do for the other two halves was to go ahead and get both of them. So I'm gonna do assembly of both of them at the same time. And then when they're both completed, I'll go ahead and get them both sand out at the same time. So we're probably looking at about four hours total time to get this done. Let's get started. All right, because I didn't want to leave you guys out on the finishing of the wing tips. This is number four. I'm gonna do a little speedy up video and you get to see what I get to go through to finish these things up. La musica! They're done. They are done. <clears throat> All right, this is the top left. This is the bottom left. Now, <clears throat> from this side, it looks like a pretty decent place to put a uh, servo mount uh, for the for the aileron. But when you look at it this way, this is in the very beginning of the aileron. It's the worst place to put it. This right here will get moved down to this slot um, because if I'm going to run whether I'm going to run the ailerons so that it's going to be the upper one's going to be controlled by a push-pull uh, rod um, I want it in the middle I don't want it here where you're going to put torsion in the middle and want to twist the aileron so you're going to have really bad response from it there um, so I'm going to put it here <coughs> and what I may do and you guys will see it uh, I just, I'm not 100% on the decision, but it's probably going to happen. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, put a bay for a servo in the top wing as well. So just in case I do decide uh, to put a servo up there, I can put a servo up there. That way, if it's already prepped for it, it's ready to go. So that's kind of what I'm planning on um, because it's easy enough for me to make a little, a little mounting bay for it. Um, and just leave it so that it's it's even got a cover on it with the, the screws holding it in place so if i do decide to do it take the cover off uh just cut out the little slit that's already through it it's you know it's painted over with the fabric but just cut the little slit out and then drop an aileron drop a servo in and you're ready to go all right so anyway so there's the uh, that's the left side here is the right bottom
and here's the right top so they are done that was a short video for you let me lower you guys down you guys are up almost bumping the ceiling because the ceiling's seven feet tall or it's seven feet high and i'm six foot five ish so there's not too much room between me and the ceiling so anyway that part is done um so uh yeah so this will be a shorty video for you but uh no so now it's on to the next step which i don't know what it's going to be yet um i'll probably work on doing if i'm going to do the mounting bays for the servo in the top wing um at least i'll have you guys included in uh when i'm moving the ones in the lower wings just because that's just the wrong spot so those will be cut out and it's just made out of balsa so i'm just going to cut it out and not worry about having to repair the ribs <coughs> balsa balsa dust um i'm not going to be worried about um i mean i can cover i can cover the wings with that stuff still in place but if i do decide to cut it out i'll just whatever's whatever's glued up against the ribs i'll just leave that i mean even if it's like an eighth inch space i'll leave it that way um you're not compromising the rib uh, where you're going to take and splice in now i've spliced ribs before uh, if you want to see some rib splicing and rib replacement watch my uh my wing uh videos on the big taylor craft the big third scale the the pumpkin the orange monster um that plane for those that haven't watched it um that plane was built in 1986 ish we're figuring 86 87 and it's still powered with the sax dolmar engine which is nobody knows what that is anymore uh, Sachs was a German uh, main engine manufacturer and they made chainsaw engines. That's a 61cc kind of a chainsaw engine that a company over here in the United States uh, was purchasing them and turning them into uh, RC plane engines. And it's a great engine. Um, I'm just hoping that with my exhaust, you know, one of the screws, it, it vibrated. What happened was, uh, digressing here, but. Uh, if you watch the, the final video on that one that I had in flight when I had a dead stick with the smoke system on, um, the gasket burned up. Something happened, it just burned the gasket out and then it just started slopping the, uh, the muffler back and forth. I don't know because I had to do a quick repair uh, with a helicoil kit on the uh, exhaust manifold bolts. Um, wasn't even though I've done that many times. I don't have a machine shop down here I, I had access to a machine shop for years, but I mean now I've got a couple friends that you know have access to them or Greg Hey, Greg actually has one at his house um, So that one I will figure out sometime either later on in the winter or early spring if I got to take that cylinder head off and we've got to have something machine to replace what I did in there. So anyway uh, So let's call this a good video so anyway, enough of me rabble rousing. Uh, hope you all enjoyed the video and all the new members. Uh, thank you for subscribing. It's 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 been a good year. Uh, you know, it's just uh, this whole thing with the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing it to just show you guys that yes, it can be done. Um, it if you don't have the experience, you learn. You know, just talk to talk to somebody. Uh, this built RC in the past and you'll find the good ones They'll be the guys that all you have to do is say hey Can you help me out and they'll say bring it on up or they'll come on over to your house and do it um, I mean, I've done enough repairs here at my shop um, And I just don't turn people down. It's just you know, I'm always there to help out. So anyway, once again, thanks for uh, Thanks for subscribing hit that like button and uh, we'll see you in the next video later